didn't realise how frizzy my hair was till I turned this camera on but this is what we're doing here we are we have my diet coke we have the frizzy hair let's go <laughs> That first mouthful of Diet Coke is just the best. Like, highlight of my day is first mouthful of freshly opened Diet Coke. And to be fair, there's not much going on at the moment. Today we are doing something rather fun. I have the pin-up parcel. I, it's been making, it just, it sounds like things are rolling about in here. It was making this noise yesterday. Anyway, my mum bought me this for uh, my birthday. So the first one has arrived. Um, I have three months. I think I'm going to do unboxings for all of them. Um, I have no idea what's in this whatsoever. This is my first ever... No, that's like It's not my first ever subscription box. I bought myself a one-off birch box once. Um, but this is my first ever actual subscription box where I'm getting more than one. Um, and in true um, I don't have ideas for content style, I'm going to make three videos unboxing these. Now, I don't think there's too much in them. This is quite a large box, but it sounds... Can, can you hear? It sounds pretty empty. <laughs> it has arrived like this. I haven't like shook it up or anything. Um, so my main concern here is, is everything in here intact? Now, the people who run this, I will link down in the description to how to get hold of this. I'd like to clarify, I got this for my birthday. This is like, they have no idea that I'm doing this. This was not gifted or sponsored or anything like that. Um, they usually post, they usually send like three or four um, sort of pin-up style items because they run a business where they sell like pin-up style makeup. Um, so they send a bunch of accessories and they send, I think, one of their makeup brands. I may be completely wrong about that, but we're about to find out. But I guess we should we should get on it. Should I take my glasses off? Is this better? I was expecting this to be a lot smaller. Um, I thought this was going to be um, like half the size of this because I didn't expect there to be much in the box. It still doesn't feel like there's much in the box. It's very light. But let's... Oh god. What is that noise? <laughs> okay. You're going to see the point. I still can't see. Okay, there's spoilers. We're not going to look at the spoilers. Okay, we worked out what the rolly thing is. Oh my god. Oh, I hate these. Oh no. <laughs> the rolling noise is the box is filled with... I don't want to give you spoilers, but can you see them? These little polystyrene balls. These are going to go everywhere. I don't know if I can throw them out. They look pretty, but I dislike these. Okay, right, let's... We have this, um... Oh no, there's little balls everywhere. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> the first thing we have is these infinity rolls. Um, we have, like, instructions on how to do this particular hairstyle. Um, it says how to section your hair and how to roll it up. So it has good instructions on that. The only thing I'm going to say about this is that it isn't printed particularly well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It's not printed to the highest quality. Um, I do, to be fair, I don't have my glasses on. Um, but it is totally, totally readable. Um, and it's nice that they've obviously like put this together and taken all sort of guys themselves. So I will be definitely giving this a go. Follow me on Instagram because I will probably post on Instagram if I can pull it off. Um, that's a big if. So this probably suggests that we're going to be getting things to do this with in this box. So yeah, the next thing in here is, oh no, these little balls are everywhere. The next thing is, is this thing, which is just covered in these, like, they're like statically sticking to everything. Mm-hmm. And they look nice, don't get me wrong. These little balls look nice, but I'm gonna be hoovering these up for weeks. Okay, I think I've removed all the, the little, <laughs> The little balls from that, they're now all over my floor. Um, and we have this uh, refer a friend thing and you'll both get a bonus gift. Maybe I will. I'll put this down, scan the code. Oh no, I can't. I was going to say I'll, I'll put this down um, in the comments, but it's a QR code that you have to scan. So we have accessories. We have this this sectioning clip, um, which I believe is the, one that, is it the one that they're using in here. It is not. So I think this is just like a like a clip for like sectioning your hair out. It has like these funny, funny grippy things on it. That's fine. I'm sure there's a use for that. It, it, it grip hair. I'm sure there's a, a use for the funny grippy things. I don't know what they are, but I'll definitely use these. I use um, 
rug section and grips a lot. Um, I only have one here um, because I haven't gone out and bought any more. But this is useful. I would definitely use these. I use these a lot. I don't know why it looks like this. Um, there's also a black mark on it, but to be fair, that might be from my hair. Um, I don't know why it looks like this, but if it, if it has if it serves its purpose, it serves its purpose. All good. So the next thing we have is this, and I don't know what this is. I think this is a makeup item because it has Le, Le, Le Coup Cosmetics written on it. I don't know what this is. Let's open it up. Do you guys have any guesses? I will say that this packaging is really nice. It's in like proper sturdy plastic. The only thing I will say is that it's not great for the environment if you're already putting it in a box like this. But let's... I can't open it. Let's open this up and see what this is. I assume this opens. That's making snapping noises. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a brush. Oh, we got there. I just didn't want to break it. Cool, it's a little brush. Okay, I get it now. I'm guessing this is for putting lipstick on. Though, to be honest, I'm kind of of the... Um, of the logic that if you use a brush or whatever you want to use it for it's a little lipstick brush oh I'm sure all of you are shouting at your screens going Amy it's a lipstick brush that answers that question cool okay I think this has come out of its packaging so the next <laughs> the next thing I'm picking up is just this plastic thing which is absolutely covered like stuck with these balls but I think what was supposed to be in there is this let me just get rid of some of these like static balls <laughs> this is a, a hair curling device does it have any instructions with it yes okay vintage hair tool pin up victory rolls wet set gibson rolls Brought to you by the experts at the Q Vintage Salon, the roll and pin makes vintage hair a, a cinch. Simply secure the ends of your hair section in the clasp and roll your hair to the root. With one hand, hold the roll with the o with the other, open the clasp a tiny bit to release the hair. Sorry, so I stopped learning how to read there. This video is a bit of a mess. Uh, slide the roll and pin away, then pin your roll. Oh, I see. Okay, so let me get a hair pin. Okay, so this isn't going to be very indicative because um, I've already rolled my hair. But is the idea that you like... Let's take a section of hair. Let's comb it out. The only thing I'm doing today is filming this video so if this bit goes flat, it's all good. So... Is this how you do it? With one hand, hold the roll, with the other, open the clasp a little bit to release the hair. Slide the roll and pin away. That's what I'm doing. Oh, 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 never mind. Okay. I see what it's trying to do. It's trying to um, basically get you even rolls and then you pin it in place. But I think this is going to take a little bit of practice. I may also be doing it wrong. If anyone from this company is watching me do this, then I apologise. So the next thing we have is this teasing comb. Um, I'm I'm guessing that most of these things, um, the, oh no, the, the balls are everywhere. <laughs> I'm guessing that the theme of this box was um, like the victory rolls and how to roll your hair, which I clearly need as I've come with it in a frizzy mess today. But the next thing is this uh, teasing comb. So you have the sectioning end here and then the teasing end on that end. I do not own one of these, so this is useful. Um, I am currently finding it fine just, just separating with my hands and things. But if I am going to start trying some more elaborate hairstyles, then something like this would definitely be useful. Um, until I actually like use this in real life, I don't know how much I actually would use this. Um, but it has the potential to be very useful. So we have the the last item in the box um, and it's this pink squishy thing. So let's let's see what this is. It looks maybe like a like a heart. It is. It's a pink squishy heart. This feels like like a like a makeup thing, like a like a face wash thing. 
I would really appreciate like a card that would tell me what all of these are for. Like most of them I've worked it out, but like this for example, I would use this as like like a face thing, but I don't know if that's what it's for and I don't want to use it. I would like to use it for its intended purpose. So it would be useful if I could get like a like a sheet that tells me what everything's for. Um you do get this sheet which does tell you like how to use a lot of these products. Um, and I probably will be giving this a go again at some point. Um, it does look quite difficult though, <laughs> but I'll give it a go. Um, I think my favourite thing to come is this thing. I think if I can get this to work, it will be really good. Um, I think maybe if I can't get this to work, the thing I'll use the most is this sectioning clip. I will definitely use this the most. I'm not entirely sure why it looks like this. I'm sure that it has good reason, um, but this I'll be using more. Um, but if I can get this to work, this this is a really cool, a really cool little little nifty gadget. I don't think I have a least favorite item. But I actually do think I will use all of these items, and I do quite like them. I would say my least favourite thing is going to be the packaging and I don't want to say that because I actually know that they recently changed their packaging um, and I like these, like I like the design of their things um, what I don't like is that they come in this really like thick hard plastic um, which as far as I'm aware isn't very good for the environment compared to like putting things into thinner plastic but also if you're shipping stuff out like this like it doesn't like in a box like this. It doesn't even need to be in one of these. Um, I assume it's in one of these because they sell them like this on their shop. Um, but you could just put them in a little paper bag or something. Like it doesn't need to be in this big thick plastic. And um, the other thing that's not very good for the environment is on I like I like these <laughs> These awful polystyrene things which are just stuck to, like they've gotten, they look really nice, like the pastel colours of them are really pretty, but they have statically stuck to everything and they are everywhere and they're going to be really difficult to dispose of as well. Um, so that's not the best. I also would have liked a sheet that tells me exactly what everything is and what it's for. Some things did come with that. So some things did come with that, like the, the roller came with this sheet to explain what it is, but it completely opened. This wasn't in here. Um, there is like a, I don't really want to get it out, but it wasn't like a, like a plastic thing um, and it had completely come out of the plastic thing, um, which isn't necessarily the fault of the company because things have to get shipped um, and also like it's getting shipped in quite a big box so it's probably going to rattle around quite a bit, um, but you could have just shipped it like that and saved on the plastic like if it's going to fall out and I'll just have this plastic thing that I'm not going to use. Um, so I really like all the items. I think, as I said, I think my favourite item is either this thing or the section and clip, depending on if I can get this thing to work for me or not, I'll have a play with it. Um, and I don't think I have a least favourite item, but I would I would like the packaging to be a bit more eco-friendly and maybe um, just explain what things are a little bit more. So yeah, I think that's everything. Overall, I am recommending this. I think the, the products in it are really nice. I'm really excited to get the next two and see what they're in it as well. Um, it seems to be a really nice company. Um, it does kind of have the vibe of like, um, a company that hasn't done this quite a few times um, and yeah there is one or two areas that like if I'm you know giving an honest review and honest constructive feedback I would say that there is one or two areas that I would like to see improved we might see them improved in the next boxes you guys can find out um, but generally if you are like especially if you're starting with pinup and you don't have a lot of stuff um, or you just want to experiment with some new styles um, I definitely think this is a good box to go for it doesn't cost much either but all of that information will be down in the description of where to buy it and things. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, if you have any requests or questions, then leave them down in the comments. Uh, new videos every Wednesday. Like, subscribe, and watch us. And I will see you next week. Bye. Hello. I realise I just did my outro, but for everyone who stuck around for this long, I actually have a bonus parcel. It's not that exciting. I ordered something off Depop and it came at the same time as the pin-up parcel stuff, which I'm now... Now I'm moving. I was gonna say try not to cut the product, but I did just cut it. But it's okay. I just cut. The <laughs> I just cut the packaging. Okay. These are. These are a lot bigger than I was expecting them to be. Let's hope they fit me. If not, I think they're cool anyway. These I, I needed some tights basically. Um, I wanted some collar tights. I accidentally left a bunch of them at home when I moved, but also um, I wanted to buy some anyway. So these are. Three pairs of vintage Christian Dior tights, which I thought were fun. I have absolutely no idea 
actually how vintage they are. But I'm going to open them because I bought them to wear and I just thought they would be cool to have vintage ones. Um, so this is probably sacrilege to open these up. But I want to wear them. So we're going to open them. They are um, one size, which makes me a little bit worried because one size usually means that it fits no one instead of fits all. It says white. However, these are clearly not white tights. <laughs> These are clearly like a dark grey colour. They're almost like green. They feel very nice. I think these are going to be a little bit big. But do you know what? I can deal with that. This garment is made with fine denier yarns and requires the greatest of care when handling. We suggest that gloves are worn or that hands are slightly moist when fitting and removing. That is extra. Not going to do that. I will be careful with them though. Um, in a sitting position, roll the right stocking down to the ankle with both hands and carefully slip your foot inside. Repeat the same for the left foot. Pull the stocking up to your knees, eliminating all wrinkles. Stand up, operate, repeat the operation on thighs. <laughs> repeat the operation. Pull the tights up to the waist. I enjoy these instructions a lot. I don't think they're as old as they're pretending to be, but I don't know. Does anyone know? Does anyone know anything about Christian Dior tights and can tell me how old these are? They were described as vintage, but like... They might just be pretending to be. So we have these lovely red ones. These are the ones that I actually was was really looking for. It has a label, but no. It says hand wash. That's okay. I can hand wash some tights. I was gonna say I'm not gonna do that, but I can probably stretch to hand washing some tights. They feel much better quality than the ones that I normally buy. But the ones that I normally buy are like from. Primark. I have these green ones which kind of go with go with my outfit today with the cacti. I didn't set this shot, I'll just show you my outfit. Um okay. That is everything. Actually everything this time. I'm actually finished. Thank you for sticking around for that that's that bonus content at the end. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye.